Girls take center stage tonight as we wait to see if the apple falls far or close from the championship tree as we get ready to swing on the star. And another quote you welcome to Star Boxing. I'm your host, Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal, joined as I always am by our boxing analyst, Steve Farhood. Tonight, interesting, I talk about the championship tree. Of course, I'm referring to Lou Del Val being the champion, but his sister, Melissa Salomon, fighting tonight against Layla McCarter in our main event. Melissa Salomon, for those who haven't seen her, no losses in 18 fights, coming off a real tough draw with Laura Serrano. She's not like most of the women boxers you've seen on TV. Salomon is very, very skilled and very, very quick. And she doesn't flail away. She really knows how to fight, as does her brother, Lou. Told me she was very unhappy with the last fight. Wasn't as, as, as obvious when you get a draw like that. She thought the decision was bad, but she also saw a lot of problems with the way she was fighting. Thought she might have even lost a little focus. Well, Salomon's at the top. She's been in Madison Square Garden. She's fought on television. I really look forward to seeing her. This is the best fight on the card. Her opponent, Layla McCarter, comes out of the Pacific Northwest. An interesting story. Didn't do well there in her original fights. Moved to Las Vegas. Has rattled off six straight wins, including a title win in her last fight. McCarter just beat Sandra Yard. Sandra Yard's been on national television several times. So McCarter is very much a real opponent and a real threat to beat Salomon. Interesting woman's fight in our main event tonight. We'll be back with our first bout on Star Boxing after these words. There she comes, making a ring walk right now with her IFBA championship belt that she won from Sandra Yard. That's Layla McCarter. She hails out of Spokane, Washington, as a record of 7-4-1. and one. Two wins by way of knockout, but throw out those losses. She's got six wins in a row since moving to Las Vegas. The water there must agree with her. New management, new training. And I ran into her the first time in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. She was sleeping in the gyms in Spokane, she told me, and she said she was going to turn pro. That was back in 1997. And here she is in Yonkers. You know, now that you mention that, I think I called one of her fights in Coeur d'Alene. You and did? And she knocked a girl out in, uh, in one round. Um, I plan on uh, high aggression. I, I plan to make it a great fight. And I'm a good fighter, a good boxer as well. So um, it's just going to be a real smart technical fight, but it's also going to be a pushed fight. I'm going to push the fight, and I'm going to make her fight me back. All right. Meantime, while we're waiting for Melissa to make her walk into the ring, we've been joined by TV actor, movie actor, Hell's Angel, Chuck Zito. How Chuck, are you? Good to have you here at ringside well, with Steve and myself. Chuck, let me ask you a question. You've been in boxing all your life. Your father was a fighter. You fought. As you see, Melissa making her way in. How do you feel about women's boxing? I'm not crazy about women fighting, but <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've come a long way. And I was in the dressing room when, when uh, Melissa was uh, hitting those focus pads. She can fight better than some guys I've seen. Oh, yeah. So I think it's going to be a tough fight right here. You ever sparred with a woman? Uh, no, I uh, don't think I ever would either. Chuck handled that question very well. <laughs> there were a lot of potential ways he could have gone with that one. Uh, my problem is I have, and she broke my rib, so I don't want. I don't know. I don't even want to go there. And there she is, the honey girl. Well, there she is, and she was uh, walked in by her brother. Lou. I do what I do best. I box. Um, I'm gonna try and take from my last fight the mistakes that I've made and made them and correct them and hopefully I'll do it. We've seen a lot of women's matches on TV in the last few years. So many of them are really low quality. The women have no amateur experience. These two can really fight and you'll see that the minute the uh, bell starts. And they're both looking for big money fights and they both keep mentioning the same names. Christy Martin and Lucia Riker who are the only big name money people out there but they're both a little small. But we're yeah, going to get exactly. the official introductions from our ring announcer Ed Darian. Ladies and gentlemen, from Yonkers Raceway, 
Joe DeGuardia proudly presents Star Boxing. This bout, ladies and gentlemen, is scheduled for six rounds. That's in a female junior lightweight division. Our judges, Jim Pierce, Steve Weisfeld, and Julie Letterman. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled six round junior lightweight bout, referee Wayne Kelly. And now, my good friends, introducing the principals. First, in the red corner, wearing the black trunks, she weighed in on even 130 pounds. This young lady has seven wins, four losses, one draw with two knockouts. She is the current IFBA World Featherweight Champion. All the way from Las Vegas, Nevada, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Layla McCarter. McCarter. And her opponent, ladies and gentlemen, the Puerto Rican princess, the Queen of Queens, New York. One of the best pound for pound fighters in female boxing. They call her Honey Girl. She is the younger sister of Louie Del Val. Ladies and gentlemen, she's wearing the multicolored trim trunks. She too weighed in 130 pounds. She has 18 wins, no losses, one draw with seven big knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is. The Princess Honey Girl, Melissa Salomon. Salomon. All right, Layla, Melissa, we're boxing under the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. I expect a clean fight, obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Shake hands, come out boxing at the bell, good luck. All right, Wayne Kelly finishes the instructions. Remember, these are two minute rounds, female boxing, two minute rounds, scheduled for six. Spoke to Melissa Salomon about her feelings about Layla McCarter. She says, Layla's a little girl, I'm a woman. To put that into perspective, Salomon 31 and McCarter 21, but right now, it didn't look like McCarter showing a lot of respect for the older Salomon. Uh, both these women are boxers. It'll be interesting to see which one's more aggressive. So far, three punches landed for McCarter, none for Salomon. Salomon's last fight came last August, that 10 round draw against Laura Serrano. McCarter's last fight was past October when she won the IFBA 125 pound championship. That was a 10 round decision over Sandra Yard. Nice counter left by Salomon. Carter has a habit of dropping that right hand when she throws her left. These women both 130 pounds. Chuck, doesn't Salomon look bigger? Or is it just me? Yeah, she does. She's very muscular. Yeah. She's got big, big, big legs. Big legs, yeah. Very big calves. Salomon looks bigger than, than 130 to me, or at least bigger than McCarter. Salomon complaining at the weigh-in today that she can't put weight on because she'd like to move up. A minute gone by here in the first. She'd like to move up to fight Christy Martin and Lucia Riker. Offered to fight them at 135. They won't come down to that weight. McCarter reaching a little bit. That's going to be dangerous. Reaching with a jab, reaching with her right hand. Salomon, orthodox style, as opposed to her brother Lou. Well known southpaw, former light heavyweight champion of the world, to put Roy Jones Jr. down on the floor for the only time in his career. This is supposed to be a two minute round, right? Yes. Is the clock in your head saying this is over two minutes? I don't know. I think, Something's not right yeah, here. Yeah, I think it's over two minutes, Arnie. 
We don't have a clock on our monitor, but I, I, I think I think they're letting this go three. Well, we're going to have to find out what's going on here. If this is a mistake or if New York changed the rules. No, it should be a two-minute round. This is a warning. That Salomon hit it with a nice body shot on the left hook and, and, and slowed the clock down a little. Well, we'll be back and we'll let you know what's going on with the timing of these rounds. Stay with us. We're swinging on the star. Round number two, and we've got a little bit of a, uh, well, a little craziness going on here. There's supposed to be two-minute rounds. According to our truck, that was a three-minute round. And it's really amazing that the girls didn't notice it. Or somebody from the corners. So that's got to get straightened out. We'll see if it gets straightened out at ringside. But you just saw a three-minute women's round here in the first. While we're getting that straightened out, Steve, how'd you see the round? Boy, after a very good start, McCarter really slowed down. I gave it to Salomon. Salomon just hit a Chuck, beautiful how'd you see right the first hand. round? I, I uh, thought it was even, but Salomon took the uh, end of the round. And she's being the aggressive this round. Yeah, Salomon moves really nicely in the ring. See, she, she moves back out of range and then jumps back into range to punch herself. Definitely the stronger of the two fighters. Well, we got one minute going by right now. So we're going to see if they've cleaned up their act here on the timekeeping of this fight. Puerto Rican flag shorts, that would be Melissa Salomon. Layla McCarter in solid black. Nobody on the canvas thus far. Close first round. We thought Salomon pulled it out from this vantage point. Both Salomon. girls rather tentative right now. Yeah, Salomon's just waiting to counterpunch. Because she saw in the first round, McCarter was coming in with reaching with her jab. And she can time that jab, land a right, step in with her right hand. That, that would be the punch to look for. Well, according to our clock in the truck, just about 10 seconds to go in this round. And there's the 10 second warning. Everybody's back in sync. And a big right hand over the top by Salomon to punctuate the end of the round. Hey, boxing fans, come out for live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, Rockin' Fights, it's a knockout. Round number three of a scheduled six round, the women's bout, Melissa Salmon. In the Puerto Rican shorts, Layla McCarter. She's in the solid black. Very strangely paced second round, I felt. Nobody's really consistently taking control. And Salomon happy to stay on the outside and just counterpunch. Well, they're both boxers. And somebody has to lead, and they're both waiting for each other to lead. Salomon happy to be back in with the right-handed fighter. He said that a lot of the problems she had with Laura Serrano was no lefty sparring for that fight. Look at McCarter's record. She's lost to Laura Serrano. She's also lost twice to Margaret McGregor. And if my memory serves correctly, Margaret McGregor is the woman in uh, Seattle who fought a guy and beat her, beat him, the jockey, in the first male-female match ever. Washington State allowed that. One minute gone by in this two-minute round. The fighter very effective in getting inside. Nice counter right there by McCarter. Not too many punches landed. Obvious question. You see anything in Melissa that reminds you of Louis? Uh, not offhand, no. What is it? 
I'm not saying there is anything. I'm not sure. I'm, you know, I, I look for it as well. See if there's anything in the jeans that sticks out in terms of boxing style. So we're halfway gone in the sixth rounder. Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing? Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring. All right, back here on Star Boxing, wondering who that woman is. Well, it's Layla McCarter's mom, flew in from Spokane, Washington, to work her daughter's corner as we start the second half of this sixth rounder. And Steve, I gotta tell you, I've got all three rounds from Melissa Salomon, but not big. Right. The rounds that could have gone either way, 30-27 for her, but Layla McCarter's certainly still in this fight. Yes, she is. She's not giving Salomon too many opportunities to counterpunch. And I gave, I called the third round even. Well, Chuck saw the first round even, so this fight could be a lot closer than, than the shutout that I have it right now. Wayne Kelly separating the girls. We had an oddity in the first round, if you're just joining us. Instead of being a two-minute round, the timekeepers had it wrong. It was the, a three-minute round. That's been corrected. Nobody's been on the floor. And it's a... Basically almost a Mexican standoff, except for the few times that Salomon throws those right-hand leads. Both girls content to stand on the outside, throw jabs, and look for the counterpunch. Things heating up a little bit more now. Right hand, Salomon with the right hands. That's what her corner's been telling her to throw. Well, the way she came out of that... That handshake and through the wild right sucker punch, that reminded me a little bit of Lou. <laughs> the only similarity I see between uh, Salomon and her brother, they're both primarily counter punches, and Salomon and Delval both just seem real comfortable moving in the ring, like, like they know exactly where they want to be. I would like to see what would happen in this fight if Salomon just tried to walk through McCarter, because she does, as Chuck and I were both saying, she does look bigger and stronger. Nice combination by Salomon, showing her hand speed. Coming towards the end of the fourth here. Most dominant round of the fight thus far for Melissa Salomon. fourth round momentum certainly going towards Melissa Salomon whether she can keep it up here in the fifth or not we'll have to see McCarter coming out in a much more modified crouch than she had earlier in the fight I know it's just not her style. It's probably not what she's comfortable doing. I still think Salomon should just try to walk through McCarter. Nice combination there, though, by McCarter. Crouch, crouch seeming to work a lot better for her. It's kind of like what Angelo Dundee would say. If you're small, fight smaller. McCarter landing much better here in the fifth. Quick first minute for her. Salomon appears a lot more tentative than she had earlier in the fight. I don't know if it's fatigue or she got stung a little bit by McCarter's power coming in there with that three-punch combination earlier in the round. Nice butt there. 
Seems that Ricard has uh, settled down a little instead of throwing those wild punches. She's picking her shots now. She seems much more in her game plan. But she unofficially could be way behind in this fight. She certainly needs these last two rounds if she has any chance of pulling the fight out. Not much happened in this round. No, oh, but certainly the best round of the fight for McCarter. Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing? Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring. Sixth and final round, women, Layla McCarta, 21 years old from Spokane, Washington, also the IFBA world champion. She's in the solid back, Melissa Salomon, 18-0-1 coming in tonight. She's 31 years old, originally out of Queens, New York, now residing down in South Beach in Miami. I've got it 49-46, I don't know how you guys have seen it for for Salomon, but a lot of those early rounds were close and a very good fifth round for Layla McCarta, certainly her best in the fight. Arnie, I got Salomon one point ahead, one point less than you do, 49-47. Meaning you saw one round even in there. Yeah, I scored the uh, third round even. Chuck, any updated impressions on women's boxing? I still don't like it. <laughs> I still don't like watching it. Makes you squeamish? I don't know. It's just uh, the other thought they, they, they have actually have women's boxing, but times change. I feel the winner of this, this round will win the fight. Might very well be the case right now. And right now, Melissa Salomo, very passive. And Layla McCarter scoring in spurts. Really, already neither fighter showing much of a sense of urgency. You know, it's only a six-round fight. Oh, big right over the top by McCarter. Her best punch of the fight. But up until that point, I think Salomon was pretty much controlling the round. Coming to the end of the round, was it enough? Did McCarter do enough to pull out the round? She did on my card, but not on my card to pull out the fight. I've got it 58-56, Melissa Salomon. 59-56 here, on. You gave the last round then, Steve, to Melissa Salomon. Well, we're gonna see how the judges see it here. Keep in mind, we are in New York. We're in the backyard of Melissa Salomon. Layla McCarta coming in from Las Vegas by way of Spokane, Washington. Brought her mom with her tonight. Melissa brought her brother, Louis Del Val. Melissa also trained by veteran trainer Norm Wilson. I remember him from the trainer of lightweight contender George Scott. Ed Darian. He's the man with all the numbers. I see him comparing notes right now with our referee, Wayne Kelly. We're going to go up with Ed. He's got the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, from Yonkers Raceway, I've got the decision, and here it is. Judges Steve Weisfeld and Julie Letterman each score 58-56, while Judge Jim Pierce, he watched it at 59-55. All for the winner by unanimous decision, Melissa Salomon. <laughs> Salomon. All right, Melissa Salomon Melissa pulls it out, 58-56 on two cards the way we saw it. One other judge had it a little wider, 59-55. Layla McCarter shaking her head in her corner, raising her hand. Thought it was a lot closer. Nevertheless, Layla will drop down to seven and five. Her six-bow winning streak has come to an end.
Melissa Salomon will improve to 19-0-1. What's in the future for Salomon? Will she be able to get that big payday? Will she be able to get Christy Martin or Lucia Riker in the ring? Well, our Steve Farhood. Well, Steve Farhood is trying to grab Melissa. Melissa posing right now for pictures as we see a very dejected Layla McCarter getting her hands unwrapped. But Melissa making her way over to Steve. All right, Steve, take it away. Tell us what's going on. Melissa Salomon, unanimous decision winner. It seemed like both of you wanted to counterpunch. Yeah. I think, I think my style is um, counterpunching. Counter I, know, I know of her. I just know she's a comer. So I expected her to come after me, so I was able to counter. It didn't happen that way. So, I mean, I didn't know she was a counterpuncher. Had I known, I would have came after her more. You seem stronger physically, you seem bigger, and your right hand, it seemed, was your best punch. Um, I should have been stronger. Um, she's really a featherweight. I'm a junior lightweight. But usually when I fight junior lightweights, they're a lot bigger than me. So, I mean, the only thing I felt like I had an edge was being stronger than her. Other than that, I need to polish up a little bit more, you know? She came in with a championship belt. This yeah. wasn't a title fight. You've beaten her. You're probably a little small to fight Christy Martin and Riker. They're 140. Where, where can you go from here? Actually, it's unfortunate that I'm that they're saying that I'm a lot, a lot lighter than them. But, you know, if I'm in the gym and I'm willing to fight them, if they think that I'm a lot lighter than them, I think they should just go after me. I'm, I think I'm a credible boxer. I think I'm a credible fighter. They can, they don't have only everything to gain by fighting me. Just prove that you can knock me out or you're heavier than me. Give me the opportunity. I, I will show them different. Last thing I want to ask you, Melissa, what did your brother Lou DelVal tell you during the fight? You know, my, my, my oldest brother, he's not only, um, my teacher in boxing, but he's my idol. And he's my biggest fan, but worst critic. So anything I do is really not good enough. So I have to, each and every time I'm fighting in front of him, I have to rise to the occasion. And it puts a little more pressure on me. So, you know, that's what you saw here tonight. I had a seven month layoff and I didn't fight the way I was supposed to fight. And I just, you know, I want to do better, but I have to know that there's going to be a promoter out there <laughs> that's going to fight me, you know, often enough. So. Well done, Melissa Salomon, still undefeated, one of the few women in women's boxing who really does know how to fight. Arnie, back to you. All right, thank you, Steve, and thank you, Melissa. Yes, she does know how to fight, and once again, improving to 19-0-1. We'd like to stay more active. We'll be back with more on Star Boxing after these words. Hey, boxing fans, come out for live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, Go to starboxing.com or ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, rockin' fights, it's a knockout. All right, back live at ringside right now. Just coming out of the women's bout. Chuck, we ca I caught your impressions before the fight. I caught your impressions of women boxing during the fight. Your final thoughts <laughs> is we'll go down in stone on Chuck Zito's thoughts on women's boxing. Well, de definitely both tough girls. Uh, I thought it was a lot closer than uh, they announced. But uh, um, Melissa has uh, proved that she's won the record with, and uh, she's asking to fight the top. So they should give, it, give her a shot. All right. The biggest problem, I would say, today in women's boxing is that there are no big, big money fights. Everybody wants to fight Christy Martin. They want to fight Lucia Riker. Steve, there's a size problem there, though. They won't even fight each other. I would hate to see Melissa Salomon, who's 130 pounds, fight Christy Martin at this point in her career is not even 140. She's really above that. Riker, same thing. It would be unfair. I mean, Salomon wants to fight because who else is she supposed to fight? How is she supposed to make money? She can't. But I don't want to see her fight those women. It wouldn't be fair. When you went up for the interview, Chuck and I mentioned we would have liked to see this be a 10-round fight. Maybe they'll have a rematch for Layla's belt. It was just starting to become interesting in terms of Layla settling into her game. But another fantastic night in an SRO crowd here in Yonkers on Joe DeGuardia Star Boxing. For Chuck Zito, Steve Farhood, I'm Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal. Good night, Carrie. I'm coming home.